Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome here. And welcome back. Um, we kind of like took a little bit uh, of a vacation. And uh, we came back here online to just uh, to do some questions and answer sessions uh, um, or video or however you want to call it. Uh, we then talking about that um, there's been a lot of new revelations, new energies that comes in between uh, the twin flames, specifically that uh, lately, you know, the energies that comes in, um, they're evolving within the twin flame, the twin flame community itself, plus uh, the new energies of the age of Aquarius that it comes in, the, the part of uh, decisions uh, there of what I'm going to be choosing. Then I'm going to be choosing the new energies or I'm going to be choosing the old ways, the old energies inside of it and repeating the same thing over and over. Uh, you may want to find the energies of undecisiveness, like uh, I cannot decide things, but you're also going to give final answers later on, which is the age of Aquarius energies are preparing the stage. And you may feel like this transition period takes too long. But that transition period is going to happen. That's what you're here. You're here to understand things first before you apply it to others or share it with others or does the things within others there. So uh, without other overdue, Erica, thank you for coming in. Lorna, mm -hmm. thank you for coming in. And I'm um, going to be passing the okay. mic. Hi, Erica. Hi, Lorna. Good to see you here. I think it's high twin flame power. Um, I think it's going to be interesting because we see how people start to emerge, like people start to wake up, people start to get connected to us. We don't ask for it. Like they, they literally come to our door. I live in a small village and we already had like today we had two meetings with people who are interested in soul connections and then what they want to learn more. I didn't see that coming. I mean, <laughs> I sensed it, but, you know, just to experience that, how it works, how those energies are working and just guiding people to the right people to meet your crowd. It's a very beautiful time. And, you know, of course, like twin flame experience, somehow it's also connected because it gets people triggered on the journey. But we also start seeing people who are awakening even just out without this experience, just out of by themselves so it's very exciting times right now yeah it's a very exciting times so that uh um we were talking about like a day ago we had the dreams that people coming up here and she's like yeah well this is a small village deal how come people is gonna come in well it is what it is uh okay i um, mean you hearing it from the horse's mouth okay the truth uh, in there but um talking about uh is you cannot escape of who you are and you cannot don't try to escape without uh, part of the twin flame but the other thing is don't fear don't fear of 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 what is going on but don't fear it the next stage don't fear the next evolution don't fear the next going forward because the energies they're going to become more quality the same thing that happened the last year is repeating itself uh, right now. And uh, within the Twin Flame uh, energies, uh, all those people who are ready to graduate, they begin to graduate. All those people who graduate, they're going to be putting together. All those people that were putting together, they're going to be start performing together. As you see it, this is a pattern, it's a path. Personal awakening, personal journey as a Twin Flame, and journey with somebody else to make sure that you're going to be able to continue on that journey. And then when you graduate, there's that unification, then you graduate, then you begin to get the things. But all this, it takes time, it takes a compassion, it takes a, a, a patience in there. And a lot of the people asking is like, Dio, how can I get my twin flame? How can you get you is the question 
Don't worry about it, the twin flame. How can you get you? What you in your soul can do together inside of you. And then when you have this all set up within yourself, then you're going to be like, okay, I unified myself. Then what can I do with another person? There. Sarah P. Wow, uh, this journey since 2015 for me has uh, been all about uh, releasing fear. Fear is uh, fear and a doubt. They killed more uh, um, opportunities for you than anything else. You have fears. You fear the energies. You fear the truth specifically inside of you. Be out and open as a twin flame. And uh, sorry, yeah. Um, most of the people have fear to stay or become out and open in there. So talking about this, I totally agree with you. But releasing the fear, it helps you to enhance and open your abilities. Crystal. Hi, Dio and Paulina. Already, already your connection is uh, in and out, so I might uh, not be able to watch, but I uh, wanted to say hi and uh, great to see you. I don't know what uh, the connection is going to be in and out, but uh, uh, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Sarah, layers and layers of release and uh, healing uh, resulting in expansions and growth. That uh, releasing as pensions of growth is um, is incredible. Okay, in talking about expansion, a lot of the people are fear of the expansions of growth. Uh, four and uh, you overcome crossing those thresholds, and there it does an incredible job, just with the universe. Okay, just within the universe in yourself. So, mm. yeah, if you want to mention Yeah, I something. think like this, this expansions and growth, of course, they, they will happen because you're saving a tons of energy. Once you let go of this, like what might go wrong, it's going to be scary. It's going to be fearful. You know, I think it's, but the good thing is that it gets easier and easier every time you just, you will start recognizing those fears as just, okay, those are challenges for you to overcome because it's just that, that they are causing you to grow. But I think very often, I think it, there was this fear of really opening your heart, especially when we were talking to all this connection. I think one change I realized talking to people from close environment was like people are getting ready to move on in the right way. Instead of being stuck, they, they are kind of like getting ready to take a responsibility for not only for the like spiritual journey, but just for the, for the life, just to see those things more objectively and be able, for example, to work together with a partner, work through the issues. And they are less less interested in drama. They are more open to collaborate um, as a partner. So I think that's a good shift that is happening. Somehow those energies bring this, the proper understanding and this need of working together. It's different when you're working together. Um, most of all that, uh, um, especially when uh, the energy begin to mix consciousness we're talking about like you become them they become you but in real 3d energy then that begins to be proving more and more uh from within and you don't have to be afraid of this you don't have to be afraid of this unification because you're bringing those energies into the 3d world you begin to understand that that energy is giving you as a twin flame. You're bringing it down here. Now they begin to work in, within the 3D itself. And when it works in the 3D itself, the people come to you. Okay. So uh, that expansion is incredible. But you need the person who can work with you. You can't work with someone who does not want to work. And the universe is going to teach you. Okay, you know, sooner or later you're gonna end up and uh, and those energies of the way it is. All right, um, Lona said the video is clear here. Yes. Sarah said, "Peace, incredible indeed, exactly, it's incredible." 
And people feel on it. They feel good. They feel peace. And they feel like moving forward, uh, getting into the journey and experiencing the journey. Because the experiencing of the journey itself brings the vibrations out there for the believing system inside of you. First, that believing system inside of you that it now it knows and operates from this as a twin flame. That the change of the believing system inside of you now proves everything. And you don't have to do much now because everything has already been worked out. You already worked out on a personal level as a twin flame. You graduate as a twin flame. You already worked out with someone as in union. That is the next step if you work that out. After that, the two, the couple, the, the whole thing is just like it's unifications. Now that doesn't take that much time, effort, and energy because the two people, they're on the same page. But not only is their life goes on, they're entirely on the same page. And that right now makes the things not just easier, it makes these things beautiful. Uh, happy soul, happy life, Mr. Rivera. Was uh, she's the one to uh, awaken you? No, she's not uh, in there uh, for it. Just to remind you that uh, the catalyst can awaken you and out of fear, they cannot work with you. Every person who is not working with you, they cannot complete the journey with you. Uh, they are basically it's not. It doesn't matter how you're taking it and what are you taking it as a, uh, a situation sound there. It is all uh, a lot of misconceptions out there, specifically just one. No, it's not just one. You're going to learn it. And we had a little hard time over the time to understand it, why there is no only one. But uh, that is a uh, your belief system. If your belief system is just one, and your twin flame journey doesn't evolve, guess what? You're stuck. You're stuck on a one pattern that you don't understand from within itself. But um, that's what I'm going to say. If you want to mm -hmm. add something. Yeah, maybe just it's, it's always good to expand your vision and take. If you are you feel that there is only one twin, just to accept that as an opportunity. Since like several people already are talking about it. Just to give yourself a chance to see that from a little bit broader perspective and see how this unlimited field like how in this whole universe you would be supposed to be just one out with one person or the universe will be forcing you to be or chase after one person instead of really enjoying your life and you know a little bit of um meditation on that would help probably just to really see those things objectively and see who is blocking what with this kind of belief system? So, Matthew, hey Dio, hey Paulina, hi Matthew, glad to see you here. Sarah, peace and the infinity sign, thank you. Hey Giuliano, thank you. Uh, Sarah, P, my twin did not awake me either. Uh, yes, you're gonna find out that the person who wakes you probably has uh, only put you into the journey. But the real twin, first of all, you need to understand is you. You're just seeing to other people what it's missing in you. That 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 energy is right there. That that uh, thinks inside of you. Okay, it triggers everything that you need to develop within you. But since we are not knowing so much about the beginning of the journey as a twin flames, but now we do. Okay, now this 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 is here. Okay. This is information, this is here. Now, since you know that when the mirroring happens and you see things within them, they're missing what you knew, it is about your inner work that you need to do. And you know it that uh, those things that, oh, they should act the way to me, they should give it to me. No, they should act. You should act like the way you want them to act. You should give what you want from them because you have to understand the value of that giving and this is why a lot of the twin flames are stuck but with over the years i hope that uh, this message is going to be get more and more clear within the community it's going to help more people 
not to be on that, uh, stick within that uh, drama, trauma, caca, whatever. Yeah. Pupu, uh, I mean, mentioned Mel here, but uh, he was right. He is. And uh, yeah. Happy song, yeah. Um, Mr. Rivera, great way of putting it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hopefully that uh, help you in there. Um, yeah. Um, that was it. Uh, I was just talking about Sarah. Laura, thank you. Uh, I don't need to be on physical connections to create with the energy itself. The energy is alive either. Uh, either way and working to help others that's what my experience in a way I'm grateful yeah Lorna um, those things are grateful uh, for it uh, but there's going to be a point of time space uh, that uh, you have to work with others when you complete your personal journey complete your personal journey then the journey the same journey you're going to complete with you you can't escape basically of that you may escape it this lifetime but the next lifetime, that's what you're going to come for. it. To understand that when the two souls are coming to work together and they're bringing that power of, of the soul, this, this energy is in there. You bring in the down of 3D. You're going to fall in love with the 3D. You're going to fall off in love with the mountains, with the rivers, with the flowers, with the animals. You're going to fall off with all the creations that exist here. You're going to be rewriting your 3D experience of before that triggers you to go and awaken this not beautiful life into a new, whole new level of energies out there. But uh, you have to be expanding. Open, open. Yeah, but maybe just to add to that, because it's that's a good point that these energies are flowing anyways, like no matter what, once we get ignited, we just start recognizing this energy that it flows no matter our actions it's just i think we can just choose to go in or out of the stream of energy it depends whether or not we want to do inner work and just progress and go with the flow or we are decide to get stuck at some point and say okay i'm having the emotional attachment to this process and i'm i'm just having emotional attachment to the connection that i had because it was so beautiful it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't matter I'm keep, keep holding on to this. So I think it's the way I see it. Like, it's just, we can stay in this universal flow as well, as long as we want to, as we consciously want to. But I think it's, it's important to recognize that we can work with these energies, whether or not our twin or the person that you believe is a twin is next to us or not. You just have to recognize after the ignition, it's just your personal work. If you're the person who thinks he is your twin flame, and they don't work with you. You are blinded for the person that the universe sends in the form of the same energy towards you so you can continue in the journey. That is another thing that you don't understand until the journey is at 25. It doesn't matter about the shell. It's a matter about the energy that it presents behind the shell. And the universe, it's one energy. So it's the same energy of oneness. But until we get to that level of high consciousness within yourself, you may not have a rough time. But trust it within you. Just, just trust it within you. Okay, uh, Cece said something about burning chicks, I believe. Yeah. Hello, burning chicks people. Well, thank you. We went for a walk today, remember? Yeah, we went out for a walk. And uh, yeah, we, we went a little bit on a sun race. But thank you, uh, CC. I'm glad to see you here. Sophia, Sophie 77 hello, dear people. It is nice to see you all together. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sarah P, yes, everyone mirrors the light and the dark and the dark shadows that it's resistant to it. And it got louder and louder. Then that's all it forces to look for. Well, there is this quote on the YouTube site, uh, one thing. If you don't listen, the voice of your soul inside of you is going to begin a whisper. The whisper becomes a scream. Don't wait until that scream turns to a roar inside of it. So uh, mirroring uh, the things, you will understand the unifications between the creations of light and the dark. Because you can't just have light and you can't have dark. You 
can't just be a good and a bad. There is something there that combines them both. It's the God's creations. What can we do together? But until we get this, you have to understand the principles of the universe and the void. What can we do together? In the beginning, within the void. So that is a going to help uh, with this. If you want to, to do um, something, or not something? No, you know. Yeah. Okay, so keeping going. Uh, how to inset myself free? Just let it go. Just do it. Just set yourself free. See, see? You are the key. You have the key. It's in your neck. You open that cage that you put yourself in there and get out of the cage. And take a flight. Go see around. But security is inside of it. going to keep you inside of that cage if you're not free in order to put yourself free. You look and see why did you like it yourself in there. The key is within you. It's the key is within you. Don't escape. It's, um, don't think like somebody else from outside has to come in and free you. It's you. You're the person who can free out of the matrix of this old programming. And you're the person who actually set yourself free of getting away within the journey. Mm -hmm. Lorna, I don't plan to escape it. I look forward to it. Yeah, I can do it. Can mm. do it. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, right here. Uh, Grand Tri uh, Heart of Swords by JJ Grand Rising. So nice to see you together. Feel this journey is the rewriting. Re Writing, I think, a real relationship. It's two in one adventure, remembering ourselves in union as a one. It's all inside job. It's all inside job, guys. Yeah, it takes a little bit of work. Like it takes, like you need to decide that you you just you decide to go in the spirituality. Like you decide to put off your emotional needs or. For me, even like I, I feel like I became I shut down my emotional side. Like this experience from the twin flame was just so strong that I decided oh, I'm done with this. You know, I don't need this. Let me see. I started realizing this about this energetic world, and it got me much more interested. So I think it's like that's also one of the purpose. But it's. I think if done correctly and just if you continue with your inner work and just guiding, just, you know, following your intuition instead of trying to get your twin flame back. Like if that's your only focus, like you cannot progress on a journey. But if you try to expand your view and really work on yourself, there's so much out there. And you will start having this like higher understandings, how it's all created. And it's all everything it requires just not taking this whole journey personally, just to see that as a one big pot. <laughs> Adventure. Adventure pot. Yeah, just <laughs> giant pot, okay. Um, but also what it does is that, don't forget about it, the third party. The third party is the divine energies that comes in and they help you to guide you in there. Thanks, thanks to the divine guidance and to the energies that uh, comes in, that's what we are together, we recognize that, we recognize the divine planning in there. And there was like, no doubt, let's go. And uh, there's going to be some uh, much more uh, coming out uh, from us into the future, but yeah, it is the two in one adventure. And it's not about reinventing it. Uh, this thing was invented a long time ago, they will just not put it out. We are now reinventing the wheel. We're now reinventing the relationships. We're now reinventing. It's been already invented. The thing was, is like, was never showed up, was never put out. This is like a somebody develop a product and they never put it in the market. And the people don't know about it. So uh, it's not about uh, financial situations and so on, but 
when we're talking about this uh, two in one situation, you will understand that when you practice that your feminine and masculine energies inside of you, when you put those energies together within you, then you have a partner to practice it. They to practice their feminine and masculine energies with you, you to practice your feminine and masculine energies with them. You are going to find out something very beautiful there with the love. When this is set up on the divine, the inner peace and the understanding, they're priceless. Priceless because it's, it doesn't matter what the issue, what the problem could be, whatever the issue is. Okay? You see it as a, a, within your journey together, you're going to find out repeating cycles all over the place like not tomorrow. Repeating cycles from previous relationships, previous skills, soul connections, previous situations. But after you pass that threshold, you're going to be getting into things that you never faced before. But now, those new things that you never faced before, they are more easier. And this is the power of two and one together within the divine that works. And the hearts of uh, Source, great, very great. Thank you. Both from us, hello, Dion and Paulina. Nice to see you guys. Uh, much love to you both from us. Thank you, guys. Glad to see you here. All right. Uh, hearts of souls. Uh, one love. One love. That was, that, it was not a pot. It's one love. <laughs> it's a one pot, one love. And yeah, everything is mixing there. Okay? But it's all about the love. Crystal. Yes. Yes. Uh, same journey you do individually, you do it together precisely for me. It has been slightly different than my personal journey, but I'm very good uh, way. More fun and adventures. More fun and adventures. Um, it is. Uh, that individuality has been confirmed through a lot of few people uh, within the, the journey and those who confirm it they they are beginning to understand what we've been go through okay it's not only us okay it's not only us and you're gonna see this powerful um energies there those ones hello eric hello you see in the whole family much love to you from us okay uh twin flame power 11 11. Uh, all right love you more thank you Thank you to Inflame Power. CC, is it better to understand less and less and do or understand more and more and think? Ooh, that's a hot one. First of all, it's better to understand where you are, to know where you're going and less doing. We need to understand it's not about less doing. Because the understanding is to tell you what to do, when to do, and how to do it. Once you begin to um, understand the full force of this understanding, then uh, the more it's going to be able to do. But if you begin to overwhelm yourself with understand more and more and more and not do, then all that is is losing its purpose. You're not doing it. So what the heck if you have so much head full of knowledge and you're not applying it? Doesn't make sense. So if you look at it uh, in there, is uh, doesn't matter how much you understand. It also is very important how much you do. Mm. Isn't it like first you do and then you get understanding? Like for me, it's just you know you cannot overanalyze those things. I think it's once you start acting on the situations, you will be getting more and more understandings. So it's, and somewhere down the road, you will see that thinking doesn't help that much. It's just, it comes whenever it's needed, but the more you, oh, sorry, the more you understand, the less you will even want to think because you will see like, this is like, there is still a lot of programming. You're working on that. So you will start to observe more, but just don't pay too much attention. Like you will start to question yourself on those first actions that you have, for example, on new situations that are coming. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, thinking. 
sometimes thinking if you put a S up front of it, it begins stinking, thinking. And uh, look at it yourself, don't think too much. Okay, but uh, as Paulino said, sometimes you just have to do it. But do what? You just do what you supposed to do. Oh, okay, what well, is just um. all right? Uh, hearts, hearts of source. Uh, it's this beautiful dance, the greatest love story ever to be told, only felt deeply and brightly. Yeah, the love stories uh, they were told over the years, but was not fully understand uh, there. Uh, and uh, talking about the stories, as you guys know here on the channel, I uh, kind of like a, tell the people tell your story because your story may be survival guide to somebody. There is no more. Uh, I would say. Uh, can kind of like put the words together right now. There is no more honorable, powerful part of you as a soul, you to tell the truth as it is with you, and that benefits another person. There is so much value in that. Your personal experience out there to the people. So, yes, I agree with that. First one is beautiful hearts of source. Thank you. Lorna, love to you. Uh, let me go up. Okay. okay, right there, CC. For me, it's not love story at all. It is very lonely walk uh, into my um, next CC, when you finish your personal thing and you start with the personal thing, it's like, you know what? But if God gave me a partner, I'm just going to go out there. I'm going to go out to the streets. I'm going to go out to the coffee. I'm going to go out to the library. See what the universe has for me. Maybe the journey is not going to be alone, but you have to allow it. You have to be open for it. Okay? If you want to drink a rainwater, don't put the umbrella on top of you. If you know what I mean, I'm trying to tell you. But I would also change this. Maybe not use lonely. Like I'm very picky with words, so I wouldn't use lonely. I would put individual. Maybe it's a very individual walk, walk into the next relationship that you want to build. You know, and of course, like you have to have this time on your own. You have to have time to learn about yourself. And I just don't. I think there is a little bit of switch of thinking in people. Somehow they con then consider the separation or the moment that they don't have any connection around them or they are separated from their twin as a lonely time, instead of seeing that as a time given from the universe to work on themselves. Because maybe they were not able, they were just too foggy around someone else to see those things to improve. So just to come. <laughs> All right, CC, we send your books and love from Blue Swans. So, all right, CF. Hey, Rich, thank you for coming in. Glad to see you here, bro. Uh, we were talking about the bar of Paulinka that we were in Chicago. <laughs> Showing a picture slightly for you. So, if you got any got the energies, probably know where I come from. CC, what if you don't know what to do to do? Uh, Stay put. We were talking about it today, honestly, that feels sometimes like you're missing the guidance. And there is nothing going on. You have too many choices. There is all is good or there is no perfect solution. And what should you choose? And why the divine is silent? And we kind of came to this conclusion that we just have to wait because when the moment is right, you have no doubts what's the next step. So there is a little bit of um, lessons of patience, I think. Because if your intuition doesn't tell you to do some certain things and you don't feel the pressures from that, you know, just allow yourself to be stagnant for some time because probably the universe is aligning things to you. Yeah, talking about this uh, 
for it. Um, there is, could be those choices that you have to wait to certain things to mature, certain things to align. And there's going to be a moment of this stay put. Okay. But that also, if you look at it within the same energy, is like, okay, you don't need guidance anymore. What are you going to do if you don't need guidance anymore as a twin flame? So this is actually an energy that's going to be walking too, but it's coming. This is a new energy that's coming because if you look at it inside of you as a guide, as a guidance, you're codependent on the guidance, someone to guide you. This is like mom and dad, they have to hold you for the hand and says, let's go, right? Sometimes we feel this about the spiritual guidance, but when you look at it at some point, mom and dad is going to be okay. You're big enough, you can make it on your own, and you feel, oh, oh my god. So, but this new energy is coming, guys. So, stay patient with it, as Paulina said. Stay put, you're gonna find out which one you gotta do. Okay, you're gonna find out. Okay, um, this one, sir, which brother? Okay, Sandy Hearts, Tim Flower, hello, sir. Um, it is within you, CC. No worries from Lorna. CC, maybe my uh, horns are growing instead of my wigs. <laughs> well, Mox is in Scorpio, so uh, I don't expect anything else. But uh, some people, they're going to grow horns to find out uh, how much they need to build their wings. And uh, the other way around, don't forget about it. That uh, The ones with the horns, ones for angels too. So. It's going to be a swapping places, but uh, you're learning the, the opposite side. Uh, some people, maybe they have to learn the opposite side, nothing wrong with it in there. But uh, thanks for putting it in a nice, funny way. But you can't just learn in that positive and, and uh, you're like abandoning the negative. The more you abandon the negative, the more you're running it from negative, the more negative comes to you because it's like, hey, 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 you need to learn me. Hey, 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 I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to mess your life ta, 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 because you got to learn. But when you unify them both, hmm. it's going to happen now. You understand the both sides. You understand the positive, the negative, and you know what to get, to get the road. So, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, we're in the chapter two. Mm -hmm. Lorna, the rest of course. Okay, uh, blue one. Okay, uh, Lorna, uh, stinking. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the stinking thinking. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to shut it down. Yeah, ego. Especially if you felt, can, you can sense when your ego wants to come to play. The more you, you practice, you know, the soul knows. You know, even if you have some ego doubts and. This, the more you practice just the connection with your soul, it just gets easier. And you will see that you're just becoming the observer of your ego. Like, what does it try to tell you? Like, it really tries to fight sometimes those last <laughs> last bits. But, mm. Yeah, you're going to get him into the last bits to this. So... Those ones, you guys were just, uh, I just love you so much, all of you. We can't help it. Okay. Good. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the love. Uh, where it was? Lorna, muchas gracias. Um, Hearts of uh, Source by JJ. This journey uh, strips you to, the, to your core essence and reveal your authenticity, really. Uh, makes you fall deeply in love with self as a beautiful individual expression of source. Everyone is a spark of divine. Yes. I hope that most of the people find out that spark of the divine. But that spark of the divine I was talking about is the beginning of the void. When the two sparks of, uh, of the divine, they are staying in the void, they decide to do one thing. What could happen if two sparks comes together? Here's the light. 
very, very beautiful uh, in there. But that stripping of the journey, ooh, all of Yeah, I just wanted to add, and I think the moment that you start recognizes the, uh, recognizing the whole journey, how it led you to this understanding that like you just have this divine peace in yourself. I think that's the moment you can consider yourself a graduate. Like you've done your part, like you've done enough work on yourself. You you got awakened, you decided to go with this energy, you recognize this. That's a gift, that's a beautiful gift that we we can get in a form of a connection, you know, emotional uh, connection with someone, but just be, being able to recognize this blessing I think this is like the beginning of the most amazing part of your life because you you start seeing not only yourself as this divine expression, but all of this that it's around you, that everyone is on this journey, just different pace, but we are all trying to get there. So uh, Tiara and also to this is that uh, reveals your authenticity. Yes, it does. Your authenticity with yourself, with the divine, with your partner. Beautiful, just beautiful in there. Matthew, the time taken apart from others in order to find yourself is so very important. Uh, most seek connections to desperately that they are truly negligent to connect to themselves. Exactly. Matthew, brother, I'm totally with you uh, on that. And we talk about this actually, it was yesterday. We had these conversations uh, for you, you gotta take your time for yourself in there. But also, when you are in a relationship and you just, oh, I don't need these relationships anymore, take it off so you can do your inner work. You need to understand you already damaged something that you have to go back in there. At some point, you're gonna understand that you can do it twice as fast the inner work when you do it with the partner but you because otherwise you're going to repeat the certain situations that's going to trigger you back into that point of finding yourself i'm talking about two different things up here guys okay uh your inner work you to take off the world and take off and zip it up the people who doesn't help you doesn't understand you those are people who are not get it you knew with them within the energies uh, and so on. Yeah, those people, they're going to be going away. That's no doubt about it. Uh, but work that, work in the work on yourself as yourself is important. But also don't forget about it. It's like, uh, let's say, for example, you want a personal time and space. Yes, you got to have the, ter- the personal time and space. But tell your partner what you're working on. Sharing with your partner what's happening. That is a very powerful moment, guys. Because you're going to be knowing, my partner is not leaving. My partner needs a little work on himself. Okay? So some of the people think like, oh, well, um, they just told me that they're going to be working on themselves. They're not going to contact me and so on and so on. And I'm going to ban them. Well, if there was a clear present communications, and the proper understandings of the journey, you can just tell the person, I'm working on me. I'm going to be calling you in 20 days. Until then, I'm working on me. I'm not abandoning anybody. You're not abandoned. I'm going to contact you again. Everything's going to be okay. I'm just going to work on me. That is a respect. That is the interdependence uh, with this. But as you say, Matthew, you also, doing your personal work, you're going to find yourself. So, yeah, the one error first comes to you, it's the bottom one. Okay. The universe comes into, uh, into rectifying the imbalance by removing and stripping people, places, and things that are not in a way and to find out who you are exactly. And I think it's also important to recognize those situations like when I'm supposed to end some certain relationship or if it's not serving me or am I trying to escape learning how to build a healthy relationship by solving conflicts because we were just wondering about it and I was since I had enough personal time 
to grow on my spiritual journey, I was super grateful for this individual time that I had. But I kept wondering, like, do we all need to be in this hermit mode for two years or however it takes to find ourselves? Or can we go one step further, especially those younger generations, maybe, that are better prepared? That they can do both. Like, And at the same time, they can even be catalysts for their partner. Maybe they're a little bit behind spiritually. But the way I see it, maybe there is time to rearrange those things. And maybe people can do it in pairs. You know, it's not... It doesn't have to go like one after another. Maybe you can work on your spirituality, spirituality, but at the same time, check on all with your partner. Maybe there is a potential in another person. Like don't cross out the people assuming that, oh, I need to work on myself. I don't want to damage them. I'm confused. I need time. I need to go to my cave. Let's, I think first we all should give it um, maybe opportunity to our part, like current partners, let's say, Maybe they want to work on themselves. They just needed the spark. Like you can be the spark for them. So I think there's a little bit of shifting those. Um, maybe the way people will work on themselves, it will be becoming more community based. Like people will try to do it together. Yeah, within the community based, talking about uh, um, help within the community for the benefit of the community. But all comes in down as the age of Aquarius. You guys already know about it. It's like I'm doing my job first. I become the example first. I am gonna be performing first in me for me before I perform it for the society. This is a huge key that uh, well, I'm gonna be worked on. It huge key. A lot of the people there are like, oh, I love my twin flame so I can perform. Well, you're codependent if you went in there. Why just not performing on your own to see how it is, what it takes to be a twin flame. And as I'm so grateful about the journey in that. But looking at uh, also inside of those uh, energies of the community, looking with yourself, full within the divine let the divine steer you if you lost your path if you lost your way if you lost your touch within the divine energies just trust them go back in there go within everything is there inside of you don't look at outside outside is only reflections what it's in you so Right, Mars is Scorpio, no wonder my horns start to hurt me like a muted card. All right, CC, uh, I will say it, I'm fighting again. Um, the fights, the inner fights, they're always going to be. Can't escape out of it. You think you're going to be escaping them, though? The more you go, the more bigger fights you're going to get. But the more you better work with the energies, the more quicker you're going to be putting those fires out into you. Because you know what's right. You know that you're here for creations. You're not here to just play small. You're not here just to be this um, a person in there that just does the energy work. Your energy work at some point is going to come down into a one tank creations you to create something and whatever you gotta create you're gonna be told what to create so if you're fighting again uh, CC why you're fighting again when you're gonna stop fighting in order to move what is not happening your way within you so here look look again to yourself this one um, as twin flames, we can't uh, evolve. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Voldang. Vow. I think that's what it is. That the um, expansions and the communicating um, with uh, 
the collective participations in a quantum entanglement for those who have chosen after communications with the realms as agreed. Uh, there is a confusion. So that, uh, um, you're mixing too many things at the same time. Uh, I'm talking about the quantum situations and time moments uh, about the collective. First of all, the collective is not in a base of uh, working with themselves. How come they're going to be available to work within the quantum level, shifting energies from the void and uh, the universe within them? Um, there's got to be some so much new energies that are there. Uh, communicating on the realms is agreed. It is about what you agree. Uh, I mean, what did you came here to agree? I mean, you came here to agree to you gonna perform for the divine. That is the one thing everyone agree to come in. But talking about uh, those energies, uh, levels, those energy levels that are gonna be coming again. I was talking about last year, which is gonna be repeated. And they're gonna be repeating itself. So, welcome to Age of Aquarius, guys. Right. I don't see any other questions. So if you guys have some any other questions or anything, let us know. We're going to be coming and pop it up again, guys. Um, we're going to be uh, trying to put our lives together to see what we're going to do and how we're going to set up some schedules so that way all of you is going to know when we are coming online. Uh, in there uh, for, but uh, what am uh, I kind of want to leave a message to you guys. Don't fear, don't doubt, be observant and let things to fall in a natural place, but be open to receive. So it is. Be open to receive. Yeah, and also maybe recognizing this universal flow because sometimes we really try, we try to fight things, we try to resist things, resist changes, resist people coming out of our lives, um, or trying to push people out of our lives. Like this is really like I think it can be refined. Like we are just learning to do that, but the more you you learn to to notice this universal flow, then you can just tap into it. And you just, okay, there will be actions that you have to take, but you don't push them. You you will start seeing, okay, something is coming to you or something is not serving to you. It starts to crumble down. So with this, from this fighting mode, becoming into more, I don't want to say passive, but just accepting the changes and the flow. And uh, yeah, talking about this, um, this flow with you, you choose your battles now but you're choosing on the base of uh, not your ego-based uh, 3d personality that you had before now you choose that uh, uh, soul-based unifications from within you you choose that the battles inside of you because you know so you don't have to fight somebody who is in a fight within themselves why are you gonna go fight with us no we don't you just go and move with your journey. Let the person figure the things out. If the person has to get it in there, the person you will. But you learn and work from within your own self first. Why would you have to have those inner you know, fights within yourself? And uh, what did they prevent you? You're not to move into the journey. This is a good thing, guys. This is all good thing. All right, so uh, uh, Hearts of Souls by JJ, thank you kindly, much love and uh, bliss to wish you this of to all deal. We want to let you know that uh, we loved you and humbly ask you to understand we're here to merge those ones. Thank you guys. CC fish flow with water storm, all oh, the salmon, the salmon only fish. Oh my God, CC. <laughs> yes, be careful how you go to the stream, but you have to go up to stream to lay your eggs up the stream. That way, the river has a fish from upstreams to the way to the down to the lake. 
uh, hearts of source everyone hit the like uh, the like uh, to show appreciations uh, to this live chat and to the help others find out the info here share it here together well thank you hearts uh, appreciate it um as you know we have star system in the journey uh, those ones um as you know, we are a star seed and the journey is based on divine love. You must merge to the twin flame with your divine partner ship. We are. Uh, this whole thing about it is uh, first unite with yourself, as always been. Uh, but don't put the must in there. As long as you, there, there is a must in there, you set requirements, and the universe says, Huh, there is no requirements here. You don't want that. Either in the easy way or the hard way. Choice is yours. Uh, and, uh, Lorna, thank you for the namaste and the lights. Uh, your divine partners, uh, what is this? Is at the forefront. Forgive us and much, and this is a unconditional love. Thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, you are forgiven. So, uh, heart of sore laughter is a medicine. Please laugh today. Mm. Oh my God, we have a lot of love in here. <laughs> oh, talking about laugh, uh, we laughing so much that she, this this has been a very very thing. Well, thank you. I laughed myself a lot to mm. the, the, the wild adventure. Exactly. Especially right, like. Sometimes things that they don't go well, but you know, it just you will start laughing at those situations. Like you cannot control them, you know. It's just you will start laughing about yourself, like your ego, your old ways, and your soul will be sometimes laughing at you. And just, come on, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, and the divine is helping you. It just sends you messages <laughs> like uh, you're watching the uh, what was it that. Uh, uh, commercial one that we saw <laughs> today, I was just laughing. Uh, they were commercializing a product, and they talking about uh, the guy that was meditating today. The do Oh yeah, like uh, inner, know, peace. Inner, inner peace, peace. inner peace, inner peace, inner <laughs> peace. And there was a commercial for something that yeah, uh, let's not discuss it here. But <laughs> 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 but uh, that's what this is because you see it. Uh, in there you know I, I think that's what's missing the spiritual community and the spirituality itself it's too much serious sometimes it's just and the whole journey gets easier once you see okay let's do you really want to have this miserable life this drama or you're allowed to love you know you you can just still enjoy your life and it just kind of recognizes that recognizing that and that i think that comes with the with the development of your spirituality and the knowledge that you have control over your emotions and what you're putting into your head. So it's like when you're able to take this responsibility for building your life you want without this, of course, there will be sad moments, but you know, don't put that add onto that. Just give yourself a chance to, you know, so see those things from like higher and more brighter perspective. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. We got you because uh, we are out to find partners. We are for a condition of love if you are in the real shoe punk. Sorry for hurting. Uh, I don't get that. Okay. Spirit has a great uh, sense. sense of I cannot see it. Mm, there's a heart, yeah. A sense of humor. So we are meant to laugh together and be enjoyed. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, that's what uh, the joy comes in very beautifully. We walked today for about, well, give it a check, of three hours together. Found so much joy out in the woods walking. That's the joy of the journey, and there, and the laugh, and the things that come up, and there. This mm -hmm. laugh uh, in the soul level, it's 
put that love and happiness just spreads out. The more you get in it, the more you do it. All right, guys, that's all we have for you. I'd like to give you the, mm -hmm. the gifts of love. You can open and take it as much as you need it, guys. And uh, you guys, if you love, we are going to be coming in again. And uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, be loved, guys. Be at peace. And uh, go work on you. But that work with you is going to be pay off for future generations. All right, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for your time. Um, let us know if you want to dis us to discuss something, some ideas, some questions. Yes, we'll be exactly. We'll happy to answer and have a good night. And thank you. Hello, guys. Bye-bye.